Hey folks, I didn't make any video of making this because uh, I was just goofing off and it just happened. So, uh, this is my first actual lathe turning thing. Uh, wood lathe. I had a mini metal lathe previously where I messed around with it, but this is my first wood lathe project item, whatever you want to call it. It's a knockout bar for the headstock here. Uh, previously, I was just goofing off, uh, just turning some hickory down to um, get familiar with the tools, and I was actually doing that with this piece and then it just became a tool so it's kind of odd how that happens uh, so I didn't record it but anyway this is a piece of hickory it's got some pretty nice character this is the sap wood which was otherwise going to go in the burn pile and uh, that immediately shows me that uh, I'll be burning less wood <laughs> but anyway uh, a knockout bar this is a, an 8 inch long nail uh, or I guess once you get to that length I guess they're called a spike I don't know how I got a hold of these, but I got a bunch of these uh, 8 inch long nails or spikes and I used a hacksaw to cut off both ends, that way I do not have the point uh, going into the machine, into the headstock, and I don't want the point to be wedged and I also don't want the point to be go into the handle and potentially split it. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, this is just in by about 3 quarters of an inch and I put a little dab of wood glue in there to kind of hold it. I guess I could heat it up to remove it if this ever gets bent too bad to not be to, to be in, uh, inoperable. Uh, but anyway, a little um, simple tool that I wasn't expecting to make. Uh, fits nice and neat in the hand. And I got a big nub on the back if I wanted to use it like so. But, uh, let me grab a rag here. So I could use it in the headstock to knock out the center. And uh, coincidentally it fits right inside this little pulley over here nice and neat. That was a little happy accident, but yeah, neat little random, uh, wasn't expected project. Non-expected non project, so I gotta get a little, little hanger for it around my lathe stand. But anyway, I just having a lot of fun here, goofing off, and figured I'd share that with you guys. I wish I would've recorded it, but uh, wasn't thinking that I was actually gonna be a project. Thought it was just going to be a goofing off with the tools, so uh, you guys take care, have a great day. And I will talk to you next time. I shot that video yesterday, and uh, I just wanted to share that. Again, no progress video. I'll, I'll do a, a video on my main channel uh, after I release the video for this cart. I'm behind on my videos, so this cart has to come out, then the tool rack, and then... Um, then I'll maybe make something <clears throat> with the actual lathe. But, so yeah, yeah, that was yesterday. And as you can see, I've, I've got some different color shavings. This is pine. I took a piece of uh, two by 10 that I used on my drill press as a sacrificial base, and I just chucked it up and uh, yeah, a little plate, I guess. Still has some holes in it from the drill press. Uh, but holy crap, what a fun machine to play with. So I don't see too many like, 100% specific lathe videos coming out from me, um, you know, but I do want to incorporate this into um, <clears throat> some projects with, uh, uh, like, oh, it's going to fall, whoops, I do want to incorporate this into projects uh, with maybe some, like, turned legs and stuff, maybe a couple, like, getting used to the lathe kind of videos, um, but yeah, I'm just, just having a blast here. I thought I'd share that one with you, considering I haven't published the rest of this other video from yesterday. Well, it's published now that you're watching it. But anyway, just a little excited, and um, new tool, new skill, just having a lot of fun.